So, so Dragon Ball Super, 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 Super Hero is the next title of the next movie. What's going on, guys? Your boy Uji back again once again. If you're new to the channel, of course, make sure you are hitting that subscribe and uh, going along with what YouTube wants you to do, even though they'll probably recommend you other videos of mine, even if you don't subscribe. But hey, I'd appreciate it if you did because it helps out the channel. In other news, the big talk of the town right now is Dragon Ball Super, 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 Super Hero is coming in 2022 now if you don't know what that is it is the latest and greatest dragon ball film that like i said is supposed to be they making its triumphant debut in the following year presumably in japan first because they also did reveal that it is basically coming to japan and in other parts of the world at other times which would insinuate that it's definitely not going to be a worldwide release initially when the movie first drops which is unfortunate because that's what a lot of people were kind of anticipating and hoping to happen but it seems that is not the case but i'm going to basically go over everything that's already known and give you guys my thoughts on exactly what has been going on now if you're wondering how come i didn't do a reaction to this well simply put i was working and i'm not even gonna lie it wasn't a very reaction worthy clip if you will but i managed to actually uh just in case record something off of my phone so take a look and see how i initially reacted to the reveal of the title of this film what i told you so really quick just to you know give you guys a look and see exactly what this uh is all about right here dragon ball super 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 hero is again coming out 2022 and they also have a dedicated website to it but you know you right here this is the official dragon ball site as you may already know um you can check it out link will be in the description below um you can see exactly what they were talking about some quotes and exactly what was going on during this uh comic con at home panel one notable thing that i guess i could throw throw out there and shout out kageyama san who is the singer of head shala or shala head shala of course a very iconic song and not just dragon ball but anime all in all and it was awesome to see him perform it live. He kind of he basically opened up the presentation, but again, the presentation was just there to kind of give us our first glimpse and our first look at this movie. So details that we got from this, we simply were just told a lot of things in relation to how excited they are to reveal more later on, and just a lot of teasing. It, it's kind of what you'd expect, run of the mill kind of uh information where they're not necessarily gonna give a like a lot of information at the start of it being officially announced but it is nice to see um you know more exciting brand new dragon ball mainline things coming out um along the way so we're gonna have another year of anticipation speculation theorizing and whatnot um, for the next foreseeable 365 freaking days because as far as I'm concerned if you're gonna ask me Ushi, when do you think this movie is gonna drop well I figure in Japan we might they might get it as maybe you know best case scenario they'll get it next spring but if we're gonna look at the track record and see when the last film was released in Japan uh, which is Dragon Ball Super Broly they got that I want to say around December of 2018 we didn't get that until january 2019 basically like a month after um and if you and and if you were lucky enough there were there was some early screenings but those were invite only so if you're someone like geekdom or anyone in the industry that you know are like high up there i'm pretty sure if i'm getting this right they did have a screening in like november of that 2018 year so they were able to see it hella early it might have been december as well i'm not i don't really remember it's been a while since then but all in all here we are um let's go ahead and look at some of the artwork that was shown off and then of course we'll end it with the teaser video that was shown off which is kind of the biggest portion i i should say in regards to some other topics in relation to this film so right here we have our glimpse of our first new character or characters it's not really known exactly what this what or who or where this person came from what their involvement is apparently 
the this character is obviously brand new but they're apparently going to play a very important role and honestly i'd expect that from them because a lot of times when you know they make new movies or new anything so you know in most cases the new characters are i guess in a way supposed to play a new role because why would you introduce a new character you want us to you know give a crap about them um so it would make sense that yes uh, this, you know, new character would play an important role. What that role might be, who knows. Um, if it's like any other kind of very Dragon Ball formulaic role, it'll most likely be a character where they might butt heads with the main roster like Goku and Vegeta and then end up befriending them by the end of the film. Who knows? Um, of course, we have our look at Krillin in his police gear. Right, and then most notably, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Pan for last, but that is Pan, right? I just want to show you guys Piccolo really quick in his uh, getup without his cape, and then Piccolo with his cape. Now, a little little bit of things that they wanted to note was that they paid more attention to the inside um, detail of his cape being now like a light shade of blue. It's not all white, which I mean, I guess I don't know if you'd really consider that important, but I I know for most fans, stuff like that most likely wouldn't be a huge concern i feel like little bits of detail like that i mean is very cool to i guess talk about for the very 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 hardcore that are maybe people that are really into like design portions of whatever i mean teach their own um but obviously i don't really see this being that important considering that uh it, i don't think it's going to play an integral part in the overall story I'm, I'm sure a lot more people are more concerned with what the movie's going to be about who's going to be involved, so on and so forth. They also wanted to uh, pay attention to the fact that uh, these, like his shoulder and bicep, like these muscle parts are now yellow rather than, I, I, I think they said purple or blue. I, I, don't, I don't remember what they, what they said exactly in the presentation, but they, they paid uh, a lot of detail or they paid a lot of time just talking about that kind of stuff, which, I mean, like I said, teach their own. It's pretty interesting and it's cool, I guess, to note, but again, not very important types of things. So, and then aside from that, they basically showed us like Piccolo's house and they were, they were making a lot of references to Piccolo's house. And I'm like, okay, is this gonna, like people were joking, is this gonna be a slice of life movie? Which I don't think it is. That would be kind of crazy if they're hyping it up. I mean, of course it is their job to hype it up. They want to insinuate every single person that is paying attention or maybe not even paying attention to go and pay their ticket to watch this film when it first comes out. It is Dragon Ball. I'm sure it'll make a lot of money, but we'll see how that goes. Now, last but not least, I wanted to talk about Pan, okay? Pan is probably the most biggest thing next to the teaser, which reveals that this movie will definitely have more CG elements to it. We'll get to that in this video later on um, when I give you my thoughts. But really quick, I do want to talk about Pan. So Pan right here is in her kindergarten outfit, right? Notably, she has her hair grown out a little bit. And also what I wanted to point out is that the last time we saw Pan with a similar look was when we were at the end of Z. And this is, of course, like I've been saying, a very huge, 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 huge important attention to detail because this kind of gives us a ballpark of where this story will take place. Does it take place after the end of Z, before the end of Z? You know, we're talking specifically about that world tournament where, you know, Goku and Oob fly off and then that's the end of the Dragon Ball Z story. But we do see Pan fighting against Goten in that portion of the episode. And in that episode, she did have her hair pretty much around the same length. Now, some might say this could take place maybe days, weeks, months prior to that event um, because during that end of Z portion, she's already four years old. Now, I don't know how Japan works with their schooling as far as kindergartners go, but sometimes I wouldn't be surprised uh, if they were to have their youngins start kindergarten at age four. I mean, they do high school different. They pretty much do a lot of the grade schooling different than you know what I'm used to, at least here in the United States. So I wouldn't put it past them to have their kindergartners go to be going to school at four years old i just you know it, and that's not that big of a deal but it is when we're talking about this so if you're asking me uchi what do you think where do you think this takes place i really do want to lean towards this definitely taking place towards that end of z 
time frame. And then also, I just want to throw out there that, listen, they are trying their damnedest to really squeeze out as many arcs as they possibly can to, from where the events of Kid Buu being defeated all the way until this end of Z portion that this 10 year skip, this 10 year gap has all been super. In case people forgot, this has all, everything that we've seen, Battle of Gods, the Tournament of Power, Broly, Moro, and now Granola, they are, these are all taking place. And I know I, I missed out, it's like, like, you know, like Goku Black, Trunks, and all that, the Universe 6 tournament or whatever, like, all Frieza, you know, okay, there's, that's everything, right? <laughs> all of these things have been taking place in this 10 year gap, despite that they technically already dug themselves into a retcon situation because I did the math and as soon as I believe they got, they started doing the Moro stuff and especially going into this Granola arc now, they have already, uh, basically kind of like started rewriting the history as we've seen it in regards to that end of z portion because right now everything that's been going on is like you know kind of like its own thing and i guess it is a plot hole at the end of the day because the timing is just all off i could do another video talking about that because i don't want to you know take too much of your time today but that is something that's really important to note with me saying all that i just feel like if this movie is to be like the final act leading into that wrap up of okay this is all of this is super and now after after this film we're gonna potentially go into brand new territory that it, every you know at that point onward it's like the next question is okay what are they gonna be taking from GT redoing or or what's going on you know that's the questions that I'm sure a lot of folks are you know, that have been asking, that are just wondering, and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's why I think Pan right here, looking at her design right there, is a very nice indication as to what could, where, or where where this movie could be taking place. And I, oh my, I'm praying, I, ho I really hope that it is at this end of Z portion so that we can move on from this 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 10 year gap that like i said they have have already written themselves into a plot hole okay so the last thing obviously is the trailer which you know you can find this essentially you know anywhere i'm like literally everybody has been retweeting it they've been reposting it and whatnot and this is literally it right so you know goku does his little hop skip kick pose and then boom, Dragon Ball Super, 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 Super Hero 2022. The release schedule may differ depending on the countries and regions. So there's your proof right there. Um, and that goes without saying that, you know, Japan is most definitely going to get this John first. I will leave this on like repeat while I talk about it. So the, the one thing that I definitely want to note right here, guys, is clearly this is a tease, right? And the fact that it is a tease, you sh we should all really take into consideration that this is not the final product meaning that this is not how the animation will look this is our first glimpse at it but it is not guaranteed or confirmed that boom that's it things improve things change over the course of a production and yes this does look like goku is straight out of a video game it does look like they they took maybe some kind of unreal engine or whatever pro, uh, programs are out there that you make video games with it does look like he's he they took him out of a video game it looks like this movie is about to be on some video game level stuff however and you know and there's evidence of this just because his hair barely moves there's really no lighting when you come in on him you know what i'm saying like you know he's just very he, he's very stiff for the most part right and even the shading in his hair does not change at all everything from his outfit like again there's no different types of angles i'm not the kind of guy to really talk about like in-depth animation style if you want that go check out anime a a anime aj right that he he's he's a really good channel to look and talk about animation styles and whatnot i'm not trying to say i'm that guy but listen i'm a very real dude when it comes to things that i see and i'm gonna call them out as i see them those are the things that i immediately noticed and i'm not gonna try and sit here and tell you guys that i'm not a fan 
me personally, I would have wished that they stuck with the Shintani style with the how they the how they did Dragon Ball Super Broly. I thought that animation style was super clean, crisp, and it it was very. I I feel like it was a very interesting and uh, an adaptive way to I guess kind of complement the manga in a sense. I, I'm wondering why they decided to go with this format of animation style but we're gonna have to see and um again i don't think that this is the, the whole movie is gonna look like this i feel i feel like it's gonna be you know a blend between 3d and 2d at the same time we're gonna have to wait and see more trailers again this is a teaser i'm i'm i'm, I'm more than positive that it will it, it will get improved upon or and again a, a tease is only supposed to just give you a tease and that's that's literally it so Let's not put all of our eggs in one basket. Let's not try to dissect this way too hard because there, there's only a certain extent that you can realistically talk about as far as plot, where this could go, like so early on. Obviously, as a content creator, and I'm sure there's been plenty of others that have already talked about this and they've tried to really milk the crap out of this. There's really not much you can actually say outside of what has been shown to us. Until we get our first actual trailer, that's when we can really start talking about what the story is, where it's going to go, what we could think is going to happen. Because right now, it's still fair game. You could say whatever you want and provide whatever reasons why. A lot of people have still been saying they wish Cooler or Yamoshi or Broly or even Cell should be returning in this movie. Okay, so that's basically everything those are all my thoughts i do want to uh, uh thank you guys for if you know if you watch this far then i uh, thank you for that um i appreciate you guys still tuning in and you know checking in with me and and, and, and trying to hear my thoughts on this movie so yes yeah, like, like that's everything so far outside of that um i will most likely be talking with kai about this in the upcoming episode of full power podcast so if you haven't followed wherever you do listen to your podcast if it's outside of youtube then definitely the links are always going to be in the description below so look forward to that because we will obviously be talking about that in the next episode like i said we have a lot more to look forward to outside of the manga because this is our next biggest talking point here in the dragon ball franchise so i'm very excited to see more about it i'm going to stay optimistic as usual if things start to look kind of south then i mean okay we'll, we'll we'll have to get we'll have to go over that bridge once we get there all the thing i wanted to say is that they said that of course like i said earlier like they're gonna hype this up as best as they can they're really trying to drive home that this is gonna be the best film yet and honestly from the tease it's 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 easy to argue against that statement but we'll have to see and we'll have to see who's involved and what 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 you know what threats could potentially make this one you know live up to that so i i pretty right now obviously i don't think so but we'll see we'll see when we get there again guys make sure you guys are liking sharing subscribing if you're new um you know all the descriptions all the links are going to be in the description below if you are looking forward to um you know supporting in any way that you possibly possibly can twitter join my discord all that good stuff it's all there uh, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect you a lot little right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time